Hey guys, so just um, a short video here I wanted to share with you guys on comparing Android Lollipop 5.0 to Android KitKat 4.4.4. I have the Motorola Nexus 6 phone here running Android Lollipop 5.0 and the LG Nexus 5 phone here running Android 4.4.4. So basically, you know, Android Lollipop here, a whole different look and you can see things that have changed here. I'm kind of just going to go through this at random and pick things and we'll just take a look, go through the menu and settings, take a look at what has changed. Um, with the whole user interface here and nothing real in, in depth or in detail just a general look at the two side by side um, maybe you even maybe you've been getting this notification here on your nexus 5 to upgrade to android 5.0 but i held off doing that so i could kind of compare the two and again i haven't even used lollipop that much here on the nexus 6 but it's nice to see the two side by side you can see how much bigger the nexus 6 phone is here but even down here at the bottom you can see how things have changed you got like that little um, triangle looking thing there and the circle and then the square and you can see the old ones here and how the the recents have changed into these like centric apps or whatever they're calling it now but one neat thing is um, let's take a look at the notifications up here you know this has changed around a bit the picture things have moved around so if you just take a look you can still they put the little like these little toggles in here to get to the brightness and this one has a flashlight now whereas the you know, KitKat did not so just kind of a look there at those two side by side and what I'm going to do is probably zoom in here and we'll just go in and take a look at I don't think much has changed as far as the apps go um, you know there are the two side by side you can see yourself you know the settings there looks a little different from the settings there I mean not much has changed with all of that pretty much the same old stuff but once you get in here I mean they have changed this around some so I'm just going to go through them quickly just to give you a look at the two side by side so you can see under data usage now data usage looks a little different I have this pulled all the way down in that and you have some new um, selections in there for cellular data and a set cellular data limit of course just you know the two side by side there look a bit different and if I click back where were we at we were at more I believe let's go to more and you can come down through here and look um, at anything uh, NFC was enabled on the Nexus 5 there looks like they changed a couple of things down here mobile networks the cellular networks cell broadcast emergency bro broadcast there so if you just click back um, I'm just gonna kind of keep moving along here now they have display first over here so I'll just choose display and display and you can see in here if you just go down through comparing the two side by side there what has changed and what hasn't changed and then sound notifications and sound over here uh, here's your default notification sound under system there so yeah lollipop is completely you know it, it is a big difference um, taking a look at them side by side here um, if you get to storage doesn't look like much has changed here in the storage so um, let me take a look at the battery one here yeah I mean this screen on lollipop is just so much bigger and I just like having the white background it's really nice of course when you have one that has the, the black background like that it helps things to stand out so like black wallpaper is kind of nice because your stuff stands out um, the Nexus 6 over here has had a lot of good, you know, since I've been using it, I've only had to charge it once a day. I think I charged it at like 8 o'clock in the morning. It was at 100% battery power over here. And by about 8 o'clock that night, I think it was down to maybe 40% and I, you know, 35%. So I can get pretty much the whole day. I was using it pretty hard, you know, learning it and just going through and seeing what was new. So... But getting back in here, that is the look at that. And then, of course, if you look at the apps, you know, you come across your menu up here at the top and see what's running on the two. 
this is a nice little thing here they put in free app system device memory and that there's kind of nice and then if you scroll over to all and of course you also have the little menu there you could go in and, and change things um, we'll just keep moving along here so apps I don't see anything over here for users uh, under personal location just the just a different look there in the UI. Some things have changed. Let's see, what else do we want to take a look at? Security. So let's take a look here. Owner. Eh, pretty much the same stuff. See down here, screen pinning. I do not know if that is over here anywhere, but screen pinning and apps with usage access. So like I said, I need to spend a little more time with it. Um, of course, you can get into your accounts pretty much like that with the two. Looks a little different there. And this backup and reset, backup and reset here. And let's take a look at date and time. I always like to use the 24 hour format for my phone. Accessibility, what has changed in there? You can see as you scroll down through any changes or additions to accessibility. And of course, printing. I have a service plugin for HP installed there on that one. And developer options. Notice something different in the developer options there, which we will take a look at. We'll go back to that, but in here, Android version side by side there, you guys can see the builds down here. So this one, I'm gonna go ahead and click here and just enable the developer options so we can go back and take a look at the developer options. So if you could go into your developer options on the two, you have KitKat here and Lollipop here. Um, they added in this feature called enable OEM lock. So if you guys are trying to unlock your bootloader, on this device here, you're going to have to check mark that or you will most likely get an error message trying to unlock the bootloader in fast boot mode, um, which like I said, I need to spend a little more time at, but that's a little hint there if you guys are trying to do that. And of course, all the developer options in here to play around with. And just kind of looking at all that side by side. So that's pretty much all I had for you guys. Just kind of a comparison of the two side by side. Um, I mean, in detail, I mean, if you look at like, say the calculator there, you can see some of the apps, of course they've changed a bit. The clock, just things like that. The contacts have changed the way the contacts look and just some of the, you know, the apps have changed. So. That was pretty much all, all I have for you guys, just a short video here comparing the two side by side. I'm um, trying to think here, let's take a look. Maybe we can take a look quick at the camera. I am almost pretty certain that nothing really has changed as far as the camera. Um, if we go into settings, and on the two, uh, let me zoom in there real quick. You can see that it's not the best quality of my camera. Like I said, I need to get that fixed, but pretty much everything the same here in the camera settings. Of course, on the Nexus 6, you can see the front camera now is 1080p and the back camera is 1080p. And back camera 1080p there and 720p, but that also has to do with the phone capabilities as well. Not so much the OS, probably somewhat, but all right, guys. Anyway, that is pretty much all I have. I just want to do, you know, a short walkthrough and share that with you guys. So there they are side by side. I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And thanks a lot for watching, guys. Have a good one.